Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make and run an agarose gel. Before you make a gel, first of all you need to figure out what percent you are making and how much you will be making. Today I'm going to make 25 ml of 1% gel. Uh, to make 25 ml of 1% gel, I have already weighed out 0.25 grams of egg rolls and 25 ml of TBE buffer. So we'll just add the TBE buffer to the egg rolls right now. To dissolve the egg rolls, we'll just use a microwave. Uh, one important thing to do is that you do not swirl your mixture before you heat it up because the undissolved egg rolls is just going to get onto the wall of the flask and will not dissolve. Second most important thing is that you want to loosen the cap so the flask don't explode. And that's it. We'll just heat it up for about 45 seconds. You want to carefully remove the flask from the microwave. Uh, it's going to be really hot right now. So what you want to do is you want to cool it down at room temperature till it's cool to the touch. After your egg rolls has cooled down, we can pour the gel. Here's the casting tray for the egg rolls gel. What we need to do is we will slowly pour in the egg rolls so we don't introduce any bubbles. So, like that, make sure there are no bubbles. And then we can put in the cone. like that. And then we just have to wait until the gel solidifies. So after the gel has solidified, we can pull the cone. Uh, make sure you pull it out straight up instead of at an angle so you don't break the gel. And then we'll transfer the gel to the gel tank. So here is a gel tank and we I have already poured some buffer in it. So we just want to let the gel sit there for a bit and then I'm just going to add in more buffer so the gel is submerged. So that's good. Then we are ready to load the samples onto the gel. So when you load the sample, you want to have your tip inside the well but not to the very bottom of the well because you don't want to poke a hole in it. So put your tip in the well and then slowly eject your sample like that. Uh, the sample has glycerol in it so it's heavier than water and you will sink right to the bottom of the well. So now we will load the second sample again. Put your tip into the well and then you slowly eject your sample like that and then we'll load the third sample which is the last one again you put your tip into the well and slowly eject after the sample has been loaded we'll put on the lid and then we'll hook up the power supply and then we'll run the gel. So right now the gel is running on 100 volts. Uh, the voltage you use depends on how big or how long the gel is and we'll run it for half an hour. The time depends on the percentage of the gel you have and the voltage that you run the gel at. Higher the voltage will take shorter time for the DNA to migrate and lower percentage of the gel would be you will require a shorter amount of time for the DNA to migrate. Now the gel has finished running, we can unplug the, the power supply and then we can take out the lid. Uh, how you can tell the gel is finished or not is that you look at how far the dye has migrated. After that you can just stain the gel, then you're done. See you guys next time.